What's up guys, my birthday is coming and I thought I would treat myself to some new graphics card. So let's unbox this beast. So as you all know, E3 is here. Well, depending on the video release, uh, E3 might be gone already and you've already seen the Battlefield one. This is pretty much getting ready for Battlefield release. The problem with NVIDIA mostly is supply right now. It was quite hard to get a hold of the 1080. Uh, originally I was gonna go and buy an um, aftermarket uh, non-reference design such as MSI but I'm just gonna go ahead and test this one, see if it's um, if it what Nvidia promised and uh, able to overclock to two gigahertz on a processor and uh, some decent RAM overclock as well. Right, so we have uh, power connectors. Rather large manual, I think. Oh no, it's a poster. LOL. <laughs> uh, looks like a Warhammer theme. Obviously, it's not. It's um, it's EVGA artwork. Right. <laughs> this is funny. Not sure if it's necessary, but yeah, thanks EVG. Let's hope you gave me a good batch. Right, so that's a proper manual. Oh, EVG badge. Quite cool looking. Oh, my browser is talking. Shut up. Okay, let's unlock this beast. heavy as well. Right, so you have one pin connector, you have back plate. PCI Express protection, that's nice. All, right, all the ports are protected. Nice. Well, the final moment. The moment of truth. Oops. Fail. Shiny. I'm really surprised how heavy it is. <laughs> Mostly I think it's... Um, it's the cooler. So this baby will go in here and that's my new system and I want to talk about it a little bit. So we have a 1000 watt Corsair, it's a modular 80 plus gold ultra quiet power supply. It sits inside a fractal Define R5 black white mid tower case. Uh, you can't see the CPU obviously because it's behind the Corsair RI100 V2 hydro cooler. It's also ultra quiet fans installed. And the CPU itself is the new Broadwall E i7 6850K. So that's six cores with 50 meg cache 
And the reason I took six cores instead of, you know, the, the most expensive ones is uh, mostly utilization is not yet there yet. I mean, the DirectX 12 games are not here. Exception is Ashes of Singularity, but I didn't see that much gain so far. So, from my perspective, four cores are optimal for games, plus two cores dedicated for recording, for the background stuff and windows, should be enough. But, you know, t I will test the system and I will report on my channel later. So this card is going to go in there and um, I might actually go for SLI when the non-reference designs are available in UK which unfortunately uh, they are one month after the launch they're still not available in UK in wide sort of retail space I don't know you can buy on eBay for um, gorged prices but I'm not gonna <laughs> splurge myself on a unnecessary you know dealers all right so i have 32 gig of corsair vengeance uh, 3000 megahertz xmp ram i was gonna go this install 64 gig but i will test first with the 32 gigs see how my uh, photoshop and sony vegas and all the other software loads and then later on i will install the other 32 gigs and see how much change you can expect from you know from such excessive amounts of RAM. I will probably report as well on my channel because there there is no real like um, test or a suggestion on anywhere. I've, I've searched Google, but nobody really can say for sure. Do you benefit from 64 gigabytes of RAM? Right. What else? I have two terabytes Samsung Evo not EVO Pro but normal EVO hard drive for games and uh, my main system is going to be on the 512 gigabyte Samsung SM951 M2 PCI NVMe drive which can ramp up after well up to 2000 megabytes write and uh, 1500 megabyte I mean sorry that's uh, the other way around it's uh, 1500 write and uh, 2100 read which supposedly gonna be awesome for loading Windows and uh, main system programs. Also, I have a. You can't see it in front. I can't really move it right now because I'm limited in space. But on, on front, I have um, NZXT Century 3 fan controllers. So hopefully, I will be able to shut the system on a low noise mode when I'm recording. Because right now, I had to turn off my main computer. The, the the water cooler, all in one water cooler, was too loud. It's always too loud if you cannot uh, lower the fan speeds manually. Um, I'm using Arctic MX4 Extreme Thermal Conductivity Compound for a CPU. I think that's pretty standard. I have a 4 terabyte WD Black 3.5 inches hard drive over there in the bottom. You can see. By the way, all these brackets are removable. I haven't played around with it yet. I don't have any optical drives, so probably should remove all the top top brackets. This system just came in. I didn't really have any time. I'm really busy with E3 work and um, well, my system basically, uh, as I'm going to be selling my old stuff after I'm done testing, which is pretty beefy Titan X and. Um, the old i7 uh, core, which one? I think it was uh, the last gen. It's not. It's not uh, Skylake. It's um. It's the old Broadwell, non non extreme. Um. Basically, that's it. It's Windows 10. The graphics. Oh yeah, motherboard. <laughs> so it's Asus Strix X99. I think it's uh. It's one of the new ones. It's not the most expensive one. But I, I thought it will fit the bill since it's mostly gaming and it has a nice sound card. You can see the what's it called Supreme effects over there. So I'm hoping I'm not gonna get any crackling 
sound which is reported on a lot of uh, smaller or cheaper Asus boards um, so yeah I think that's it so thank you for watching and stay tuned for testing and reports on performance cheers